Hi, my name is Prasenjit Sarkar and I am a Senior Principal Product Manager. Today I'm going to show you how do you build a microservices application on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. As part of the process, we are going to deploy a Kubernetes cluster and on top of that we are going to deploy a couple of microservices that will create a whole application. This is a quick overview of this whole architecture in here. All right. Let's get back to the steps now. Okay, so I am logged into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure main screen. From this navigation bar, I need to scroll down to the developer services, click on Kubernetes cluster. Click on create cluster, select a quick create option and click on launch workflow. You can specify a name here and a compartment and a Kubernetes version. I'm gonna select 1.17.9, a public cluster, the shape of the virtual machine is going to be 2.1. In this case, number of node is three. Click on next and then click on create cluster. While this is going on, it's gonna take some time, which is between five to seven minutes. I'm gonna show you how you access this cluster using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Cloud Shell. So I already have a cluster provision in here, as you can see. From the details page of this cluster, I need to click on access cluster button and then copy this command and then launch Cloud Shell. With a command in the clipboard, I'm gonna paste this command and run it to get my cube config updated. And now run kubectl get nodes to see if I'm having access to my Kubernetes cluster. All right, there you go. So I have a three node cluster already up and running, and this is what I need to use to deploy my application, change the code, and redeploy this application again, right? So now let us go ahead and clone the source code repository into a folder called MuShop, cd to MuShop, and then let's create two different namespace One is MuShop, and the second one is called MuShop-Utilities. Let us change the context to use MuShop as my current namespace, and then run the Helm dependency update to download the newer version of the chart that we are gonna deploy. So the charts has been downloaded. Let us deploy these So the utility chart has been deployed. Now let us go ahead and deploy the actual application. So now let us get the actual application IP address, which is the Nginx ingress controller public IP. Pick up this IP address, open up a new tab and try to access this application. All right, so now you have deployed this application, it is up and running. Let us go to the second phase of this application deployment, which is code change and then redeployment. We will change the front page text from food to OCI awesome. And this is basically getting you from the storefront microservices. So you can run kubectl get deployments and can see various different microservices which has been deployed as part of this application. And we are going to change this storefront application now. Let us go inside the source code folder and then change the code. So there's a file called underscore data.pug and in here you see a section called var promo from this title, I am going to change this to reflect OCI is awesome. I'm gonna save this file. And now I am going to run the Docker build to create a new version of the container. So the new version of the container has been created. Now we need to use Docker login to log into our own Docker repository 
hosted in OCIR. To do that, from your profile page, click on your username, go to your auth token, click on generate token, give it a description and click on generate token. Copy this value and now run Docker login. phx.oci.io Your username format should be your tenancy name front slash your username which is your email address. I'm going to press enter for the password I just already copied. So logging succeeded. Now let us tag the newly created container. and push this container into OCIR. Once it is pushed, let us go to a container registry and verify this container registry repository. Click on actions and change it to public. We are just doing it for simplicity. Now we need to update this values file for the Helm chart to download this new Docker image from this OCIR so that we can see the new changes up in there. To do that, let us open up this values-mock.yaml file. Let us scroll down. And that's it and let us save this file. Once you change this values-mock.yaml file, then let us run this helm upgrade command to redeploy this container. Let us see if it has redeployed the new container. Okay, so you can see that it's been redeployed and it is up and running for last 16 seconds. Let us go to this new shop and click on refresh and here you can see this OCI is awesome. So with this you have seen how it is easy to use OCI Cloud Shell to deploy an application, change an application and redeploy it all integrated without carrying any configuration files. To perform this action you need to have a free tier account and you can see it here in the link www.oracle.com slash cloud slash free and for training and certification you can go to slash cloud slash IAS slash training there's a live labs as well and we do have a huge number of learning videos into slash users slash oracle learning thanks for watching this tutorial i will see you in our next tutorial